Hey, what's going on guys? Just wanted to do another quick update since my last video, uh, you know, I was mentioning I'm battling a minor bryopsis, uh, but more importantly the brown flatworms. Um, I got some more livestock to help with the flatworms, I'll just show you in a sec, but I just wanted to catch this uh, pajama cardinal while he's out and about. Um, but the uh, flatworm eaters would be this yellow wrasse. He's really cool. Those of you who may know I have that bad luck with wrasses jumping out of the tank in the past because I'm too stubborn to put a net on top. Um, however, I see Red Sea now has nets that uh, you know look a little bit more uh, neat than the standard DIY stuff. Uh, but they are expensive, so I might just build my own. It's hard to say at this point. Um, so there's a yellow wrasse, there's a peppermint shrimp in here somewhere, there's a Hector's goby in here somewhere, there's a really small one that came. Uh, they are neat because they're herbivores, uh, so they're supposed to help with the algae, however I haven't seen them and he, hope he's okay. Um, I'll get in on the dragonette as soon as I see him pop out. Uh, the uh, yellow wrasse, which I've just mentioned I have for the flatworms. It is one of the wrasses that are rated to eat flatworms. And this guy is great. He does just pick at the flatworms all day long. Or pick at the rocks and, and substrate, I should say, anyways. Um, and the dragonette, the green dragonette, does the same thing. I just see him around all day long and just picking at the rocks. And, and I really love that fish. I've been waiting a while to get it. You know, I dose my tank with pods. The uh, flatworm exit which I've done two treatments of so far, a week apart. You know, they definitely kill the pods in the tank as well as, you know, the flatworms. However, they don't eradicate the flatworms. And I don't want to keep dosing that stuff every week, so hopefully the mandarin and the uh, yellow wrasse will keep them at bay. The lighting's not the best back there, but I mean, the way the mandarins just move around and the colors, just kind of blow my mind, really. Um, well, the corals, for the most part, are doing okay. I do have some white biofilm. I'll try to zoom up. Normally, I take video on my phone, but the uh, yellow lens that I usually clip onto my camera has mysteriously disappeared, so I'm guessing my uh, three-year-old boy has done something with it. So I'm using this camera with the lens and hoping... Uh, the images come through so what I'm trying to show you is a little film on on the rocks now uh, I've seen this before it's from me overdosing Red Sea Reef Energy A and B it's what they call what Red Sea calls biofilm um, so I saw the some corals like the Lepto and like this Ratazoa not doing too hot so I dosed extra Reef Energy but that stuff just makes your tank explode with algae, so best not to use it. The no pox will uh, take care of it and it uh, should go away soon. Um, and then I want to get rid of the no pox, or not get rid of, but stop, slowly stop dosing it so I can try Vibrant. Because uh, JNL Aquatics finally has Vibrant, which is new for them. And it's supposed to help with Bryopsis and uh, bubble algae. And I got a little bubble just under this frag, and I see it. See on the bottom right of that frag, there's a bubble that's slowly getting bigger. So, hoping the vibrant helps. I don't want to dose the nopox at the same time as vibrant. Seems just like too much. So, I'll do a video of that. You know, um, you know, one thing I wasn't testing for was par. We have so many test kits for the water, but light being so important, I ended up ordering the Sinai Reef uh, one with the par meter on it. Mainly just to use as a power meter, not to actually do the monthly thing, because that's a rip-off. But, and you, you know, you put it in there, you get your pH, the ammonia, and the uh, temperature. I didn't get the wireless thing for it. I just hook it up to my computer. Uh, so the Vibrant will be here in a couple days. I'm going to try that, see if we can get this tank clean. Um, I mentioned in my last video I was going to try GFO. I decided against that, mainly because I had Fosgard, so I tried to use it. Uh, however, the next day when I was trying to use it is when I noticed this Zoa just closed up and she has not opened up since. So, you know, a little worrisome, the poor little Zoa, I love that thing. 
Uh, I've got the phosgard out of there, just running a normal dose of carbon in the media reactor now. Definitely noticed uh, some water clarity improvements since that. Continue to use it. So that's really it for this video, guys. Thanks for stopping by.